last few years I've suffered with anxiety and not, I wouldn't like call it depression, but I was going through like a slump, which was just like symptoms of depression and stuff like that. For the longest time I struggled with depression, anxiety, and I had a lot of trauma in my life that I didn't really know how to deal with. So when I was in high school, doing my GCSEs, I suffered from a lot of anxiety and stress. Um, I had a, a lot of panic attacks, especially on exam days themselves. And um, that took a while to get over coming into first year college, even I was still dealing with the repercussions of that. I've experienced um, anxiety in the past, mainly in uh, public spaces like school and college. Um, I'd probably say if you're, if you're struggling with depression and stuff like that, don't don't feel afraid to tell people about it. If your parents are your parents don't believe you, which that sucks entirely. Talk to a member of faculty, even a teacher, anyone like that. It could you've got loads of options from counselling wise, you've got loads of options to get help for that. Um my honest advice would be to try and gain as much factual information about your diagnosis or um, anything that's going on because when you suffer from things like anxiety or depression which are mood disorders they don't only change your mood they change the way your brain actually works they change um, the biology of your body and sometimes it's really difficult to trust yourself and your own thoughts, so you need to know the facts. Um, just reach out, you know, um, as much as you can feel alone, just you must realise um, there is much more out there, there's more people, you know, fighting in your corner than you think, and um, no matter how self-centered you feel um when tr you know thinking and trying to do things about your issues it's important that you focus on it to try and overcome it you know in any way possible uh, just don't go through on your own if you've got people who you can speak to speak to them don't just sit there by yourself get someone who can help you or someone who you think can help friends family anyone i think the absolute main thing is just to talk about it you know um Anyone really, people you can trust, you just got to get it. If you do, even if even if they can't help you with it, so to speak, if you just get your kind of feelings out there, you know, you can help you deal with them a bit better. And um, I would say just reach out. It's really important. Just call a friend or anyone because there's always someone that wants to listen. Fifty percent of teenagers in the UK suffer or know someone who has suffered from mental health issues. We believe it is important to spread the message to reach out when struggling with mental health. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out.